brought my rain mac with me, so. And yes, I am wearing a crash hat, crash helmet. Just remember, everything comes the other way around here. Nothing normal about these roads, I tell you. I, I know my bike's knackered. <coughs> Sounds like a dying Wookiee. Really got to have your wits about you. It's good fun, actually. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Holy mackerel, it's really raining now. just on a blower on the bridge. It's amazing how many people are just on their phones on the bikes, it's crazy. So many people. And I'm definitely an eyesore because there's not many sort of western people riding bikes, or scooters rather. But I haven't seen any anyway. Bar market. Sure's can of here. Walk down here first. Oh, I forgot things for this one. I'm sure the entrance is back there. I'm just curious to see what's down here. I'm walking this way. Oh, yes. Hi, can I have you? Hello, yes, actually, you might be able to. Sit uh, out. No, I'm right, thank <laughs> you. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Looking. Just looking. Hello. 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 <laughs> I am actually looking for a handle for this, so I'm going to have a little look around. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. I have been here before. People sleep here and now. Kitchen bit. Hello. Uh, maybe I'll come back. I'll come back maybe. Well, I'm hungry, but I'm stubborn. Why not my options? Bras there. Bras amongst the fruit. A couple of our apples and orange bra.
go for a little ride around. You alright? She's alright. It's the old city wall. It's actually squared off. It's like got a massive wall goes around the old city. <coughs> over that dog. Freaking hell. So in, in January to March of 1968, um, right here, the Battle of Huey happened. And it was part of the Tet Offensive. Um, the Tet Tet is like a, a holiday in Vietnam where everyone goes back, goes back and be, be with their family and stuff. The North and South had agreed on the Tet holiday so a lot of the South Vietnamese troops all went back to their families and there was a few left here and there's like a hundred, I think about a hundred US soldiers. But what Ho Chi Minh did was um, he kept, I think something like 70,000 troops. Um, and on, on the Tet, the day that they'd agreed, um, Ho Chi Minh sent his troops to the South and had a massive offensive against like Saigon, uh, loads of other towns, but one of the bloodiest battles was here in Hawaii for a month. It raged on. I think something like 5,000 locals were killed. Pretty much most of Hawaii was flattened um, to the ground. This is quite an old part of it. We're going to have a little walk in and a walk around and stuff, but a lot of the towns around it was pretty much flattened, basically. So they've re rebuilt a lot of the area. Um, you can actually still see some remnants on the wall. They look like bullet holes and stuff. It's difficult to tell because it could have just be time that's weathered, weathered these bricks here. But I'm pretty sure that some of them are artillery or bullets or something like that. Because there was a massive, massive war around here. So I think the troops that were here... Uh, the very, you know, the small amount of South Vietnamese troops that were here with the American troops were all caught by surprise. They didn't expect uh, the attack on that particular day. So it was like a, uh, like a guerrilla warfare. In fact, this particular battle that happened here, I think is considered the first urban, real urban warfare in this particular town in Hawaii here. <coughs> And uh, certainly there was a lot of guerrilla tactics being used, basically. But it must have been f absolutely frightening to be here and see the troops coming in from whatever side you was on. You know, war, man, it's not good. It's not good. It doesn't really lead to good things, you know? Hmm. That's definitely bomb damage, that is. Blam! What? These bullet holes here as well. I think some of them must be. Thank you. Cool. Wishing well or something. Definitely. 
bullet hole action there, for sure. It feels a little bit haunting, really. I'm sure that that wall there has been decimated in some way. Probably erosion over time, but also, as I say, there's a lot of bombs going off around here. A lot of fighting. I think some of this must be kind of new, but maybe if it has been rebuilt, it's been rebuilt over the structure that was already there. So you can imagine the type of warfare that was going on here. this none shall pass <laughs> what is this it's like a house here or something <sighs> little house on the island I think it's like someone's house what is it Worship. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, oh man, there's loads of bugs about getting out of here. Whoa, get off.
they shut this off for like every night and it just gets packed down there. It's relatively empty at the minute, but it's gonna get rammed. <coughs> we've got to find somewhere to eat and then just walk up and down these streets there's not many of them there's only like a couple of blocks so to speak let's see what happens anyway a couple of kids just playing badminton in the street there No, not at the moment. One dollar here. No, no, maybe later, maybe later. But I'll come back. I'm sure you'll catch me again. Hello, Hello. how are you? Hello. I'm not just going to stop at the first one. Hello. <laughs> nice people, man, the Vietnamese, I've got to say. It's funny, because when you've got the camera, no one's trying to sell you anything or uh, sell you services. Or anything like that. Relatively empty at the moment, but it will get very busy down here in about an hour or two. But I've got a journey ahead of me tomorrow, so I'm not going to stick around here too long. Plus, I don't want to drink any beer tonight. I can help it. bill around there must be mental. bad curry as it goes but I think that's all for this one um, I'm up tomorrow off on another adventure so until next time my friends keep navigating Bye.